Can you create t-shirts using AI art that can earn up to $10,413 per week? Well, thanks to recent advancements in the AI art generating app Midjourney, you can now generate stunning t-shirt designs that you can sell for a nice profit on websites like Etsy. But the key is that you need to know the easiest types of pictures to generate that you can then sell onto products like t-shirts, which I'm gonna show you in this video. But quickly, if you've never heard of Midjourney, it's the most popular AI art generating app currently. It connects with another free app, Discord. You open up the Midjourney Discord server and then type in what you want Midjourney to create and it'll make that image for you. You can then take that image that it creates and then upload it to a print-on-demand app like Printify to turn it into a product to sell, such as t-shirts. You can then list them for sale on websites and Etsy for a profit. Nice. Mid-journey, as you're gonna see, is incredibly powerful. However, it is admittedly better at creating some images than others. <laughs> so then, with that in mind, let's choose the easiest pictures to generate and sell. Okay, so if we come to Etsy, you'll see two types of image-based t-shirts for sale that are earning money here. The first is complex pictures with painted backgrounds, such as this very cool t-shirt themed around the Yellowstone National Park. The Etsy research app Allure estimates it's making over 54,000 South African dollars a month, which is over 3,000 US dollars. Now, in theory, we could ask Midjourney to paint us a detailed painting of, say, a national park, and it'll actually do a surprisingly good job, but only if you don't look at it too closely. Because if you do zoom in on it, you'll quickly spot that it has a lot of weird glitches. Now, of course, if you're a graphic designer, you could just edit them out, in which case, that's awesome, and you can use Midjourney to quickly generate some very cool paintings to sell. But if you aren't a graphic designer, that would be very hard. So let's instead focus on making easy pictures that don't have complex backgrounds. And these can sell really great when sold onto products. Take this t-shirt. Allura estimates that it's making 400 pounds per month, which is roughly 500 US dollars. It also estimates that this sweatshirt version of the t-shirt is making over 700 pounds per month, which is roughly 900 US dollars. And take this t-shirt that I recently showcased in a YouTube Shorts video. Well, it's estimated to be making nearly $1,900 per month. And take this t-shirt here, featuring cute, simple line-up pictures of flowers. Well, it's estimated to be making over $5,000 per month. And if you take a look at their top selling designs in their Etsy store, you'll see that most of their pictures they use are simple line art pictures. Well combined, Allura estimates that this store made $44,630 this past month, which works out to be about $10,413 per week, which is pretty cool. And by the way, if you'd like to learn some of my tips for researching top selling print on demand products like t-shirts, you should be sure to check out my free ebook, which I'll have a link to in the video description below. But anyway, back to the video. So yes, it's these types of pictures that we're gonna focus on selling, simple pictures with no background. So then let's open up Mid Journey and turn our t-shirt ideas into t-shirt designs. So yes, start off by registering for a Midjourney account if you don't have one, and you'll also need to get a Discord account if you haven't got one already, which is free. Then you just open up your Discord app and then click on the Midjourney channel. From here, click the Show Members List button and then right click on the Midjourney bot member and click Message. From here, just message the bot slash imagine and then you'll be able to prompt Midjourney to make you an image about anything that you like. Within 60 seconds, the bot will generate you an image. But before you do that, you might want to change some of Midjourney settings so that you can generate better images to sell onto products. So to open up settings, in the message bar, type slash settings and click enter. Now, the first setting is for picking which mode of mid-journey that you'd like to use. I recommend using the latest, most up-to-date version, which as of me filming this video is version five. Next, you wanna choose how high of a quality mid-journey generates the images for you. Midjourney will spend longer designing the image, which in my experience has much better results, which actually saves you time from doing less image re-rolls. And so of course, I strongly, strongly recommend selecting the highest quality that you can. And then next up, you can choose how stylized you want your image to be. Now, there is no right or wrong selection here. The more stylized, usually the more details you get. 
take this prompt. These were my results for low style, this was for medium style, this was for high style, and this was for very high style. And take this prompt here. These are my results for low style, this was for medium style, this was for high style, and this was for very high style. Depending on what you're creating, you might want more or less details, so you can play around with it. Usually I find that high or very high style works best when I'm creating images for t-shirt designs. Next, you can choose whether you want your images to be public or stealth, which means that they're hidden from other users. Stealth is a pro plan only option, but honestly, it's not necessary. There are so many pictures being generated in mid-journey each minute that chances are nobody will even notice yours. And you can choose from fast mode or relax mode. Fast mode generates images quicker, but you have to pay extra for it, so it's up to you. Want to save money? Select relax mode. Want to save time? Choose fast mode. Okay, so now let's create a t-shirt design with mid-journey. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna take your t-shirt design idea and if it has multiple images in it, you wanna split them up into separate components. For example, if I had an idea to make a t-shirt like this, I wouldn't try to generate all of these flowers as a single image. Instead, I'll be prompting Midjourney to create a single one-off flower. Not only will this mean that the flower picture will be in higher resolution for printing by having it be larger as it's taking up the whole canvas, but it will also decrease the chances that Midjourney makes mistakes, which it's more likely to do the more details I ask it to create. And so you can see here that it's finished making my pictures, and at this point you can ask yourself, hmm, is this what I imagined? And if it's not, you can play around with your prompts. So for me, when I was prompting Midjourney, I had in my brain this idea that it would be creating watercolor flowers with green stems. But that's not what Midjourney created for me at all. So I prompted Midjourney again, but this time I modified the prompt to be more detailed. And by doing that, I got exactly the type of picture that I had imagined. So once you have achieved that, click the reroll button. This will get Midjourney to create another set of images using that same prompt. Just keep doing it as long as you have time for to get as many pictures to choose from. And importantly, unlike other AI art generators like Dali, Midjourney is a small flat monthly fee that lets you generate unlimited images. So there is no downside to making as many as you can to find the best ones possible. And by the way, if you'd like to learn about some of the advanced prompts that I use, you should be sure to check out my latest video that I added into my e-commerce course where I show how to create print-on-demand stores that run passively on autopilot. If you'd like to see if my course is right for you, I'll have a link to it in the video description. But yes, back to the video. So I just keep generating images over and over again. But don't worry, I won't bore you by making you watch me do that in real time. But by doing that, I did get a lot of great images to choose from. And so I found the images that I liked best, such as this one here. So now I just had to save it. So here's how to do that. Do you see how there are four images? One, two, three, four images. You just select the U button for whichever image you like the most. And now Midjourney will generate an upscaled image of it for me. And then I can open it in my internet browser and then download it onto my computer. So then, Let's now fix up any image glitches. So because we have been generating simple images, you might not even have to do this. <laughs> However, sometimes you'll have an image like this where if we zoom in, you'll see it has a bit of a funky bit on it. Well, what we can do is come to this free app, Photopea, and upload the photo into it. This is a free web-based app that is very similar to Photoshop. So if you have Photoshop, you could choose to use it instead. But either way, what you do is you use the healing brush tool. You can click on the spots that you want to fix and the tool will use AI technology to figure out what the pixel should be there instead. You can also click the eraser tool and erase any parts of it that you don't want. And so once you have fixed up your picture, we'll then remove the background around it and make it transparent. So currently I downloaded this picture from Midjourney. You can see that my flower has this white background box around it. If I upload this picture as is onto a t-shirt and printed it, that white background box would print onto it as well. So instead, I want it to print like this with no background, just the flower. Well, luckily AI technology can help us with that too. Photo Room's free AI background remover is the best free app that I have tested for doing this. So once you've done that, we can then use AI technology again to upscale the image and make it bigger. So here's the thing, when you're printing images onto products, 
image resolution is crucial. Low resolution images look ugly and pixelated when printed, but high resolution images look beautiful. Unfortunately though, even though Midjourney now produces images that are a lot bigger than they used to, they're still pretty low res. Luckily though, there are plenty of AI image upscalers. This is the one that I personally use and it has a free plan with free monthly credits that you can use. I just upload my picture and the AI technology within it increases the image quality using its smart technology and it makes the picture high res. But you can use any AI upscaler that you like. Gigapixel is probably the most popular AI upscaler right now, so you might wanna try this instead. But either way, upscale your images, and then we'll turn them into a t-shirt to sell. So I have a whole video dedicated to which print on demand app you should pick for selling t-shirts if you wanna check that video out. But basically for beginners, I usually recommend Printify and their printing partner Monster Digital. Printify's app has an amazing integration with Etsy. You just select the product that you want to customize, such as a t-shirt. You then upload the picture that you want to print onto it. So I uploaded my favorite flowers that Midjourney made for me and I moved them around the printing space, getting them in the way that I wanted. And now I had created a t-shirt that we could connect to Etsy and then list for sale for a market price. And then each time a customer buys, say, this t-shirt, Printify's printing partner, Monster Digital, will print my design onto a t-shirt, package it up and ship it out for the customer all automatically, while I get to keep the difference as profit. Yay. So then, did my video inspire you? If it did, please subscribe and click that little notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my uploads about earning money with online businesses. Hi, Ray Ra, everyone.